This is a red deer. It's a part of the skull, and we've only got the top part of the skull. And as you can see from this rather spectacular rack, we've got antlers, uh, both the left and right antlers, of this rather magnificent red deer. Obviously, there's a lot of information that we want to collect from this particular individual. A couple from the Midlands uh, were on the beach back in early part of April, and uh, they found it there and uh, took some photographs. When the tides were lowish, I went back to have a look, so the site was still underwater. But because they'd taken photographs that allowed me to orientate myself um, in respect to things I could see up in the skyline, I could work out approximately where the, the find was. And using my feet, just worked my way backwards and forwards across the beach until I snagged myself on the, on, on the antlers and got into the water, burrowed around a bit, and, and yes, lo and behold, that's where they were. So there's going to be a process of reconstruction going on. And from the deer antlers, we're going to try and estimate how big the deer was, how perhaps tall the individual stood. We know it's a male. OK, that much we know because it's got antlers and only the male of the species has antlers. If we count these, these prongs here are called tines. And if we were to count those, there are seven on each side. That would make this an imperial. The biggest animal you can get is what we call a monarch. This one isn't quite a monarch, it's a little way off, but on this side, on his right antler, he's just developing the eighth time. Now, that puts him probably seven years plus as an individual. We, we think this individual dates from a, somewhere between four and 4,000 and 6,000 years ago. Well, Borth is probably one of the best uh, preserved, what we call submerged forests around the British coastline. Now, this is a, um, a peat bed containing the stumps of trees that were growing um, where the sea is now around about four to 6,000 years ago. This particular find actually comes from uh, an estuarine channel that has cut through the forest or it was in existence when the forest was growing on either side of it. Another thing, a bit of information that we can get from this individual, because he's got his antlers on, okay, we know what season he died. Come um, the end of winter, beginning of spring, around March, April time, these antlers would be shed and then they would be grown again. And by the time we get to September, the, the animal would have a full antler set again. Now, because he's got antlers on, we know he must have died somewhere between the winter and the following spring. Back in 2013, I think it was now, um, I was working on a similar sort of deposits on the other side of the country in uh, Haysborough in Norfolk. Um, there, the deposits are not four to 6,000 years old, but they're nearly a million years old. And in those deposits, were the footprints of some of our earliest, or the earliest human ancestors that we have in this country. And, and, and we just have this snapshot of an instance in the life history of a group of, uh, of individuals. And those footprints are the oldest human footprints that we have outside uh, of Africa at the present time. So a nice, nice discovery. When, 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 when you suddenly, when you discover it and you suddenly realize what you're looking at, the adrenaline does go up. I, I'd be silly not to say it. Um, I found that when I located the, the, this with my feet um, last Friday, when I realised what I was looking at at Haysborough with the footprints, and previously um, I'd also had it twice before. Um, once when we discovered a Bronze Age boat of about 3,000 years old in Dover that you can now see in Dover Museum, fully preserved, uh, and uh, another time where we found a large number of stone hand axes, stone tools, dating to about 300,000 years ago in a very small pit in uh, Cuxton in Kent. And, and all four of those moments were, were sort of eureka moments and, and, and the excitement goes up and you just want to tell somebody about what you found. You know.